Hi guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Danny Lilly and this is a second episode of so-called series in a way of my amateur guide to a guide of what I've learned over the last year or so that's brought my handicap down and hopefully can help bring your handicap down. Now this video is basically aimed for eye to mid handicappers that are looking to try and get in single figures and today is all about course management, something that is very very underestimated when it comes to amateur golf and amateur golfers and it certainly was underestimated to me a good uh, three or four years ago but it's something that's really helped my game uh, preparing for uh, a club competition. So yeah and, and as well this is obviously aimed for your home course really in a way is of course we all know our home courses as, as well as we know but also this is about making things a bit more easy for yourself and getting to the hole more efficiently. I'll give you a tip that I, that I do uh, and it's certainly out there as well, it's not my idea this by the way, uh, so I'm not taking any credit for it, but what I do when it comes to course management is I break the course down in six, sec six segments, um, so hole one, two, three, hole four, five, six, hole seven, eight, nine, and so on. And what I try and do is, of course, it'd be amazing if I parred that section, but what I try and do is try and bogey it or double bogey it, sometimes even triple bogey it depending on the stroke in index within them sections but yeah a bogey or a double bogey is absolutely amazing for me because that means then that I'm going to be like maybe 10 to 12 over meaning that I can then get level par at net um, so well try and get level par at net so that's that's what my aim is is, it, is I break the segment uh, I break my course up into into six segments of three holes and again that's something that's not new out there but it's certainly something that's helped my game out because I'm trying to beat that segment basically I'm trying to bogey it or double bogey it. that's my aim at the minute you know there's a lot of probably professionals or high am high handicap amateurs out there sorry low handicap amateurs out there that will uh, will want to par that that section or even birdie that section so. So yeah, that that's a good a good little tip that uh, that I use anyway to try and manage my course a bit more. Five iron. Look at them beauties, hey! Absolutely beautiful. Anyway, five iron. Um, and look, another little tip as well is if you can use GPS on your competition, which nine times out of ten you can these days. Um, I think it's just slope on range finders that you can't use and stuff like that. But um, yeah use a GPS because as you can see I use golf shot and golf shot is what you can do and I'm going to show you now on the screen is you can actually move the cursor to try and give you a better option so I, I can see here that I, I'm going to be getting about 193 before starting that ditch so I'm going to obviously take a, a bit of a shorter more swing on this one and obviously get it to get it to just before that ditch hopefully um, so again keep, keep avoiding the left side because there's obviously trees on the left hand side uh, but if I go right that's not too bad to be fair if I fade it out right slightly so as you can see there if I get it around 100 and yeah if I get around 195 yards I'll be good I'll be good there to be fair so uh, good little tip for that use golf shot it's free as well why not Okay, a little bit right, um, which is fine, but it's definitely up there, there's no doubt about it, uh, which is good. So let's get up there, let's see how far I am to the, uh, to the ditch. So guys, I've only landed around about 180 yards away there, it's obviously feathered on a little bit more as well, so a lot shorter than what I wanted to be fair, but, well it's only about 15 yards shorter than what I wanted, but listen, I'm safe. That's what all, this is what this all about to be fair, not using the, the, the wrong club and getting in danger. Now this, this hole's a bit weird, it kind of zigzags, so I wanted to avoid left on the tee bed, but now I also now I want to avoid right on the second shot. Uh, if I go right, I'm in danger. Uh, if I go left, I'm probably okay again. Um, and when I mean left and right, I mean probably 20 yards either side. To be fair, of the obviously middle of the fairway. So a club for this one, I've got around 185 yards into the to the middle of the green. Uh, and for this, I'm going to use um, shall we say a 90% uh, four hybrid. And you know what's on top of my four hybrid? It comes on every vlog with me now. There he is, little Del Boy. So, um, so yeah, let's see what Del Boy can do. Okay, guys, I'm in at my ball now. I'm probably around about ten yards off the green. Um, 
so it didn't run on as much as I wanted it to, but it's not a problem. Uh, as you can probably tell as well, it's really cold there today. Uh, the grass is white, and if it's if that doesn't mean snow, it means it's rock solid, uh, and it's rock solid. So another little tip is, of course, club selection. Now, and, and I suppose that comes within the strategy of course management in a way. Uh, I have a little I have a little flip. Um, yardage book and it tells me all my yardages in there and it also tells me the yardages in summer and in winter i've not really i've not really done it for a uh, concrete flooring but anyway uh, that's another that's another one that i need to do um but i also use a, a, a strategy called eight out of ten and what it is is i use a club that i know i can get it to the point that i want it to get to eight times out of ten you know, if you feel that you can't get that club, you, you know, if you if you use a club base that's not that you feel is not the right club, then of course why are you using it? Of course, but you still do see out there where people are using the wrong clubs. So I, I make sure I use a club that I know I'm going to get it to the point I want it to get to, eight times out of ten, if not nine times out of ten. Of course, it'd be great if we all get it ten out of ten. But again, golf isn't perfect. So um, I've got a little little chip up into the green here. The green is white, like I said. So. I'm, I'm going to put it a bit short and hopefully it'll run up to the hole. So let's see what I can do. A little 58 degree. I'm going to try and get it up and down. Okay, landed around about, landed around about five, about between five to eight foot away there. So uh, let's get up there and see if I can hold it for a par on my first vlog, on my first course management vlog. Uh, I've probably managed this hole quite well. I just need to manage the other sections now quite well. So let's see, uh, get to the ball and see how it is. Look at that green. Not a footprint on it. Oops, that seat, sorry. Look at the green here, not, uh, not even facing the green. Okay, let's see if I can hold this for a par. Okay, so, bogey it is I'm afraid, but it's not a problem because what I need to do now is make sure on this, this little section here is that on the 8th and 9th hole is I get a par, of course, if not a better a birdie, or if I go bogey bogey, obviously that's three over par for this section, um, obviously I just need to work on, but obviously, what I've done here, I've got stroke index 3 and I've got stroke index 1 coming up uh, on the 10th, so I've kind of worked out that not too bad to be fair. I was just showing you there how cold it is. It is freezing today, but I'm still out here, still loving golf as I do anyway. Um, the next one is a par three. Um, now, I know this hole, but if you don't know the hole, if you go into a course that you don't know the hole, um, again, get on your GPS. Instead of going down there and seeing that, there's a little ditch here in the middle, you see. And obviously, it, it probably frozen if there was water there, but if you if you have a look on your GPS again, just make sure there's no water there. There's no major hazards uh, that can affect you. Um, as you can see on the on the left hand side, there is a bunker around 170 yards. On the right hand side, around 180 yards. So I need to just try and keep the ball as straight as possible. For this, I'm going to use a five iron. Uh, just get it down there, like I said. Get it down there. Make sure you it's your your eight out of ten club. Make sure that the club that you're selecting is the correct club to get your ball to the hole. Simple as that. I'm going to use a little tee on this as well because the bed's uh, quite hard. But anyway, let's uh, start with it. I think I might have got really lucky there and bounced off like a, a, a the verge of the bunker and it might have bounced back onto the green, maybe. Let's get down there and see. 
So guys, like I said, I was quite lucky. I've, uh, I've come off the, the, the bunker bank, basically, and I've just come back onto kind of the light fringe. Um, all my aim was there is to obviously, first of all, get the ball to the hole, which I've, I'm more or less pin-eyeing away. Uh, okay, I've missed a green, but anyway, uh, life goes on. Um, but on the last hole, on hole number eight, I bogeyed as well. So I've gone bogey, bogey. Um, but if I can get a par here, then for this section, two over par for this section, I'll be quite happy with two fair if I was playing in a competition round. Just because, again, I'm only a mid a a handicap amateur. Um, but if I can do that in every section, I'd only be around 10 to 12 over, um, which of course will be great. Uh, then obviously it means I'm around a round level par net. So let's see if I can par this um, and make this section two over. Nearly went in now. So, I don't know if you could see that, so did, uh, yeah, the flag was in, in view, sorry, good job the flag was in view there. So yeah, par this hole, so meaning that, like I said, in that section uh, of way of, the way I do I course man kind of management as well, or strategy, sorry, is I'm too over gross for this section. Okay guys, I'm on the final hole here of my course management vlog, and if you look on the app, which again, is usable um, on the app it is there is water on the left hand side now the best thing to do is avoid that water of course um, now that water carries from around about 130 to nearly 200 yards on the left hand side um, also as well there's trees on the left hand side so the gate that the aim here is to hit the ball kind of as right as possible keeping it on the fairway but obviously as long as possible as well that will then give you a nice look into your second shot going into the hole um, now as well the second shot is a bl more or less a blind t blind shot as well so getting it as far up as the fairway as possible will give you hopefully a better view into the green um, anyway let's see uh, let's see how we do Okay, what I've done there is not what I actually wanted to actually do. Um, I've actually just hit a pure straight ball. Uh, and what I've done is I've gone right over the water, which is probably gonna give me a pretty bad shot looking into my second one, to be fair. But let's get down there, uh, and then maybe I can just give you a more efficient shot going into the, the green. So anyway, let's get down there and see. So yeah, as you can see here, I've got 190, 191 yards in. Uh, into the hole like I said there's still a lot of trees and my straight line is to the green is going to be just brushing these trees on the left hand side as you can see so and he's trying to avoid them of course so yeah what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can hit a five iron I'm going to try and drill a five iron up there and try and run it up to the green it's a little bit of a slope up to this green but let's see what I can do anyway Okay there, because I was on a bit of a slope, um, I took out a little bit more right there than probably I wanted to, to be fair, but I'm happy with that. Anything right is better than left, of course, with these trees. Um, I'm still, well, I'll still be at least 20 yards off the green there, but anyway, I'm up there on my second shot. Let's get to my third shot. So guys, I've landed around about 50 yards away off the green there, um, but as you can see on this hole, it's kind of undulating a lot downhill, so for me, uh, if I land it kind of right at the green and let it run down into the hole, that's the safest point for me, the safest option. Um, you don't want to be going straight at this flag at all. Uh, so I've, I've got a pitching wedge, uh, 46 degree, I'm going to try and bump and run it 
to the right hand side and let it feather down into the into the hole potentially let's see Okay, that came out a little bit more of an angle than I wanted it to, to be fair, but, and that's probably why it came up a little bit short as well. Uh, but it's come up a bit short, but it's kind of, I'd say around about 10 foot away from the hole. So uh, let's see if we can pop it in for a, an amazing par. I'll be very happy with that, certainly after that first tee shot. So let's see what we can do. Okay guys, I've got around a, about, about a 12 footer here, uh, but it's certainly a, a right to left swinger. Uh, like I said on my last vlog, my, my putting tips vlog um, was, Let's just get it to the hole. If we get it to the hole, at least I'm getting a bogey then. Uh, and it kind of helps me out with that section again, 10, 11, 12. Um, but yeah, it'd be great if we get a par. Let's see what I can do. Okay guys, so another bogey, but it's not a problem because like I said, if I can par and then maybe par or bogey the next one, happy days. So guys, that is my amateur guide to course management. Now I know the tips on there was very simple and you've probably heard of most of them before, but it's just what's helped me out over the five to six months to bring my handicap down uh, and to get better at course management. Course management is so underestimated, like I said, in amateur golf. And if you prepare your round, even the night before sometimes, you know, look at the weather, look at how the conditions would be on the course, think of how the conditions would be in each hole, on each hole, sorry. Just make, prepare yourself basically for your round going forward. Now today is a very early on a Sunday morning. It's just started faring out, so some of the shots have not been uh, as accurate as I wanted them to be. But the first tip was obviously section your round in six segments. That's a that's that's a great asset. That that that'll certainly bring your numbers down when it comes to handing your card in at the end of the round. So that's that was the first tip. The second tip was use GPS. There's no reason why you can't use GPS. If your club don't allow it in a competition, then obviously ask them before it. But if they do, then great. Um, and then, and then secondly, it's just club. And then secondly, it's just club selection. Is just making sure you're selecting the right club for that shot. Like I said, I use an eight out of ten rule where I know that club is going to get me to that point eight times out of ten. That is it. That's a good little thing to do. Um, uh, you know, go on the range and you know have ten shots per ball. Getting getting your consistency in each club. Um, I I have a I have a yardage book as well, and I still use my yardage book today on my home course, even though I know home course. I think like the back of my hand. Um, so is it? It's just making things a lot more easier for you to get round your course in at least shots as possible. And end of the day, that will hopefully bring your handicap down as well. So guys, remember. This is very simple. This is a very simple uh, vlog, but it'd be much appreciated if you hit this little subscribe button down here. It is free to do, and all it will do is give you a bit of a notification anytime I bring a new vlog out. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. Now it's time to go home, get warm, because I'm absolutely freezing, and I will see you guys on the next vlog. Take care. Bye.